Let's start with some of the common food items, the ingredients which we use to make them and the sources from which we get those ingredients. So a very common food item is chapati or bread or rice which we eat almost daily. So the first food item is chapati or you can say bread. So the ingredients which are used to prepare chapati or bread are wheat flour, And water. Now the wheat flour, the source from where we get wheat is plant. And water, as I told you, that water and salt are two ingredients which we get from the earth. So wheat flour, the source for wheat is plant. Now the next food item is cooked rice. Or sometimes we call it as vegetable pulao. Or biryani. Whatever in different languages, in different items, we call it by different names. Now the ingredients which are required to prepare this food item are rice. Now again, we get rice from plants. Then vegetables. Vegetables again we get from plants. And then we have to use spices. Spices we get from plants. Then we use oil or ghee. So oil we get from plants and ghee we obtain from animals. So it could be a plant source or animal source. So these are different ingredients which we are getting either from plants or from animals. Let's take another example of a food item, say chicken curry. Now to prepare chicken curry, the ingredients are chicken. Obviously, we get it from animal source. Then we use spices which we get from plants, we use oil or ghee, which we get either from plants or from animal. And so, this is how from these examples we can very well know that different food items require different ingredients and to get these ingredients, we have majorly two sources, plants or animals, from where we get these 
in gradients. Now we will learn how plants provide or what are the various parts of the plant which are used as food. Now we will see what are the various parts of the plant which we use as food. know that green plants can prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. So that is why plants are called producers. So plants are producers. Now the food which the plants prepare, they use some part of their food for themselves, for their growth, to perform various Activity. So some part of food is used by plant itself. Now the remaining part of the food which is left which is prepared but is not used by the plant gets stored in different parts of the plant like some food maybe in some plant it gets stored in the roots in some other plant it gets stored in the stem or maybe in the leaves or maybe in the fruit so these are the different parts of the plant in which the food gets stored so food gets stored in different parts of the plant. The part of the plant where we have stored food and we eat that part as food is called the edible part or the eatable part of the plant. So the part of the plant eaten as food is called the edible part or the eatable part of the plant. Let's see what are those edible parts of the plant and in which plant we eat what part as food.
So these are the different parts. This is a plant. Now we will discuss what are the various parts of the plant that we eat as food. So if you see this plant starting from the ground level, these are roots. So in some part, the food gets stored in the roots. For example, such roots which we eat as food are radish. So these are the roots. And the food, the roots which we eat, example are carrot, radish. You can see this is a carrot. We eat it as food and this is root of the plant where the food gets stored. So the roots which we eat as food. Now you can see this main trunk. This is the stem of the plant. So in some cases this stem, stem remains underground, below the ground and the food gets stored in it. And then we use it as our food. So this is the stem. So those plants where we use stem as food are potato, ginger, sugar cane. See, this is a potato. We eat it a lot and this is an underground stem in which the food gets stored. So, in some parts, in some plants we eat root, in some plants we eat stem. Now the next part of the plant which we eat as food are leaves. You can see there are so many leaves. So, this is a leaf. So the parts where we leave, use leaf as food are spinach. You all might have watched cartoon movie Popeye. And Popeye gets all the power, all the energies by eating spinach. So spinach, mint. Here you can see these are mint leaves. We eat them as Food. So, these are leaves where in which the food gets stored. In some parts, in some plants, the food gets stored in its flower. So, this is a flower. Now, the food gets stored in the flower of the plant and we eat it as food like rose, cauliflower. You all might have seen rose. This is a rose. And in these petals, we have stored food and we process it and make it in different kinds of food items. So, here the food gets stored in the flower. Now, in some plants, the food gets stored in the fruits. This is a fruit. Now these pulpy fruits we eat as food. Apple, mango, banana. These are different fruits which we eat and in these plants the food gets stored in its fruit. In some parts the food is stored in the fruit but we use that fruit as vegetable. So again this is a fruit of the plant but it is used as vegetable like lady's finger. Tomato. And in some plants the food is stored in the seeds. These 
are the seeds. All the cereals, pulses, they all have seeds in which the food gets stored. Even the oil which we use for cooking of food, the groundnut oil or any kind of other vegetable oil, basically the mustard oil, all these oils are prepared from the seeds of the plant. So these are the different parts of the plant in which the food gets stored and we eat this, these parts of the plant as food. 